Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss how different motor problems in a child can be related to specific retained reflexes. Most of the parents are aware that there is a reflex integration therapy, but how these two connect to each other is the link which is mostly missing. And that is what we will discuss today. The first motor area happens to be coordination and balance which means that your child might display vestibular deficits like motion sickness, movement-based hypersensitivity, like when they go on playground equipment, they're not comfortable. Also, while climbing stairs, crossing obstacles, coming down from the bed or climbing up the bed, and so on. Similarly, you might find these children have a hypermobility of joints. Their overall muscle tone is low, their posture is poor, and even their grip strength is weak. How will you find what reflexes are retained in this child? STNR, TLR, Babinski, Moro's reflex, and spinal gallant reflex. The second motor area includes fine motor skills like challenges with handwriting or daily fine motor tasks like tying of shoelaces, buttoning, unbuttoning. So the specific motor deficits include poor dexterity, grasp is not strong, eye-hand coordination challenges. The child might even show visual perceptual challenges. And the two primary sensory areas here include tactile and proprioceptive. And what three retained reflexes to look for? ATNR, Palmer grasp, and Moro's reflex. The third motor area includes challenges with eating behavior, feeding of the child. Specifically, the child might show oral hypersensitivity. So they are not comfortable with anything touching around their mouth, even inside the mouth. They are not ready to accept brushes. They are picky eaters. They don't like spoons, forks. Other than that, the child might have tongue sucking or mouthing behavior specifically for sensory calming. Also, the child might have specific swallowing, biting or chewing difficulties. And what three reflexes to look for here? Rooting reflex, sucking reflex and swallowing reflex. Motor area includes posture of the child. So you might find that this child has low muscle tone. Their overall muscles are weak. They sit in a slumped posture or a slouched posture, always leaning against surfaces. You will also find that this child has challenges with static and dynamic balance. So whether they are sitting, they would want support. Even in movement, they want railing support or holding on to someone, always leaning on to others. And this child might also have toe walking. What reflexes to look for with postural challenges? ATNR, TLR, Moro's reflex, spinal gallant reflex, and Babinski reflex. And the final fifth area, not exactly motor, but is related to motor skills, which is called as perceptual challenges. Here the child might have oculomotor challenges, the eye movements, visual tracking skills, gaze stabilization might be a challenge for the child. Also associated are other visual perceptual deficits like spatial awareness, front, back, left, right, up, down. The child might confuse it. For example, they don't realize whether they need to put on the shirt on top or bottom. Similarly, the child might have challenges with eye-hand coordination. And what reflexes to look over here? TLR, ATNR, Palmer reflex and Moro's reflex. I hope this video helped in clarifying some of your doubts regarding what retained reflexes to look for with specific motor challenges in a child. Please try to apply them and see a difference by using reflex integration exercises and activities. Please like the video if you found it informative. Subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development. Ring the bell icon for notifications. Add any queries or suggestions in the comments below and we'll meet again soon. Bye.